Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia and in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our background, our history, our culture or whatever interests you. And today I have decided, I couldn't believe I have never spoken about this topic before, so I have decided to speak a little bit about Ukrainian women. And I have decided to speak about us because today I have read uh, an article that states that more than 1,000 women in uh, Ukrainian armed forces occupy commander positions. And in general, we have 37,000 Ukrainian women in the armed forces. And I personally believe, and I have read a couple of uh, serious articles on that, even that the presence of women in the armed forces on various positions are pretty important for uh, the healthy atmosphere, more democratic attitudes, and so on. And if armies of the world are compared based on the presence and absence of women, uh, sometimes the more women are present, the better um, relationships between soldiers and uh, commanders uh, and in general the atmosphere is healthier. For example, in Russian uh, armed forces they don't have women at all or maybe just on some, I don't know, accountant positions or something like that. But uh, I'm not going to speak about women soldiers. I'm going to speak about the role of a woman in a Ukrainian society. And first of all, I would like to warn you that I'm totally against this attitude as like many post-Soviet women are treated as perfect uh, wives and fiancés who are very patient, uh, who cook well. Well, like many of that is true. But I don't like this kind of stereotype. I do know that many Ukrainian vloggers uh, grew their channels based on various dating services and I don't see anything bad in dating services, but I don't like this kind of association and it's not just about Ukrainian women, but women in general. And uh, I am very optimistic when I think about the role of a woman in Ukrainian society because throughout centuries our women were like more or less okay. And when we think about this uh, various movements for the liberation of women, for the protection of women's rights, this is all very important, but I think that the process was not so depressive here in Ukraine, because when we look at the history of Ukraine, we will see that many important figures were women and many women uh, left their trace in Ukrainian history. And, um, like, uh, in general, the attitude in society is not bad. Of course, there are some stereotypical images and uh, you will often get questions like, how old are you? Oh, it's high time to get married. It's high time to have a child. It's high time to, se to have a second child. Oh, uh, why do you have three children? <laughs> That's so difficult and so on. But I do think that this kind of questions have something to do with generations more than with culture and something that was pretty acceptable like maybe 100 years ago becomes less and less acceptable. I mean, questions and the attitudes. But uh, in general, I'm very satisfied and looking at my students, for example, that more and more Ukrainian women are concentrated on developing their personalities, becoming uh, professionals, becoming uh, like, I don't know, traveling, learning more about the world and themselves and only then settling down, getting married because like, our grandmas, they would get married at the age of like, I don't know, 18. <laughs> and now it is a rare occasion in Ukraine. I think that the average age changed really to something 27, 29, which is really um, different from something that was like 50 years ago. And uh, uh, a typical Ukrainian woman perhaps will cook, uh, will be concentrated on her family life. But at the same time, I think um, we are now more concentrated also on career, personal development, and more oriented once again into that Western direction, not Eastern direction. And I do love this comparison of Russia with the post-Mongolian 
society and perhaps their attitude to a woman is different and I have spoken about that in one of my not very tolerant vlogs that I will connect to this uh, video. And uh, speaking about great Ukrainian women, I have to mention, of course, uh, the Princess Olha, who uh, was an extremely important political figure back in the times of Kyiv Rus, and she supported the idea of Christianity brought to the lands of Kyiv. And uh, there are lots of interesting stories that I have previously shared about her in our in my vlogs. And so she left an interesting and important trace in our history. And uh, there is also Anna, the, who became the queen of uh, France, and she was the daughter of uh, Yaroslav Mudry, one of the best princes of Kyiv Rus. And there were lots of famous Ukrainian women writers. There were women who um, occupied various business positions because like there were it wasn't possible for some political positions back in the history, but some business positions. There were no women among Kozaki that you often ask me about, a special military organization, a very democratic and interesting organization that I will uh, speak about later in some of my uh, vlogs but in general I think that uh, if you have to if you ask me to describe a typical Ukrainian woman I will tell you that she is strong that uh, she is um, like very determined in the things that she does well, she does care about the way she looks. This is uh, typical for uh, Ukrainian women in general. But um, many of them sacrifice their uh, like uh, time uh, to the families. And this is also true. I do remember one conversation with some uh, people who came from abroad to Ukraine. And um, they have told me one pretty uh, bad thing like we all know that in Ukraine there are lots of beautiful girls but you don't have many uh, beautiful women meaning that many of them work hard uh, dedicate their time to families children work I don't know orchards and I see that the tendency is for the better that more and more women are concerned about themselves but of course, today we have war and many women fight and many more women are uh, volunteering. And that volunteering is very important because it is not just about doing what you like after you finished your job. But for many, it has become a full time job um, protecting, supporting, backing up their husbands, their children. And I think that this volunteering a uh, trend, I cannot say trend, but just like part of our reality is also very important to cover in future vlogs. Um, well, being a Ukrainian woman, I don't know what else can I tell you. So if you do have some questions, please prepare them for our live session that I plan to have this Sunday at 8 p.m. Ukrainian Kyiv time. And I will leave an announcement. And also you can ask these questions below this uh, video and I'm very grateful for your support and your subscriptions. Slava Ukraini!